Okay. Matt, it's been a one week at a time coach for your team all year. Uh, how much does that help getting to this point of the year with one game? There's so much at stake coming up this weekend. It's the same thing. You know, it's the same thing. Um, obviously, you know, last week we you know, played a, a tough run defense and we knew it was going to be a battle. You know, we, we didn't look ahead. We didn't, we just concentrated on Tulane and, and uh, you know, their run defense, you know, I thought that their defensive tackle was fantastic. Nico Marlins, they, they, they were, you can see why they were 27 in the country in defense and offensively, you know, we knew they were going to present some challenges. But our kids kind of hung in there really hard together. And so we came out of that game, you know, you know, anytime we throw for 300 yards and run for 200 and shut out a team, obviously we're excited, you know. And so as we entered this week, it's it's the same thing. You know, we're um, completely 1,000% focused on just today and tomorrow we'll be focused on tomorrow. We practiced last night and practiced this morning. I thought they did well with a quick turnaround. Full pads today. We were physical. I thought to a degree we'll be more physical tomorrow. Um, we'll, go out, we'll go out and get again in full pads. Not a lot of distractions this week with uh, you know the Thanksgiving break and fall break here. No school going on. Um, but uh, it's just a tremendous opportunity to face a, a, a East Carolina team that we've had some history with. We had a tremendous game with them last year that was really hard to win. Uh, you know we're playing against one of the top. Well, he's probably going to win the Bolitnikov and, and Zay Jones, who's just. 151 catches is unheard of. And, um, you know, those defensive players that they have, you know, we couldn't really run the ball last year. When we don't run the ball, we're not a very good team. So there's a lot there for us to, to, to be prepared for as we uh, get ready for Saturday. So today was good. It was a good, you know, step, and we'll see how we are tomorrow. Matt, you had a great amount of Jones as a receiver. What would you say about him beyond his prolific number of his stats? Well, I think he's um, very talented. He's a big kid. He can run. Got tremendous body control. The big thing is he's just also really competitive and savvy. So you take, you know, you, I just watch him. Like you watch him block, and he blocks. Um, he's he's uh, so I think he's a talented kid who's also extremely competitive and savvy. He's physical. Um, and then you know one thing I think is is not said enough is these guys really know how to throw the football. I mean this isn't like just some gimmicky college spread offense. I mean they know how to attack coverage. They know how to get the ball in the right guy's hands. They create this, uh, you know, big plays, explosives with uh, double moves and, uh, um, you know, trick, not, tr not even trick plays, but play, you know, reaction plays off of your coverages. So uh, they're going to attack us. You know, we're probably a little bit depleted in the secondary. So it's going to be a real battle to see if we can hold up. But he, I mean, he's, I mean, I think one team held him like 11 catches. Everyone else, it's like 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 catches. It's, it's really unheard of. Do you try to do anything different with him, or will you still run your regular defense, knowing how much they want to try to get him the ball? We'll do our thing. You know, um, we'll, we'll play. You know, we play a lot of coverages anyway, so we're, you know, we do a lot of different things. And uh, at the end of the day, to me, it comes down to you know, when he catches the ball, are you able to break on it? And, you know, and when, when I throw him the ball, you're able to break on it and you know try to make a play on the ball. If not, uh, hit him or whoever the receiver catches the ball and get him down. Um, to stop the run, you know, as best we can, and then we have to, you know, have tremendous pass rush this week. You know, even, you know, last week was not a big pass rush game. Um, this week, you know, they do run the football; they run it well. I think about 140 yards a game. So we have to be able to stop the run as well. But this, I think, they're number one in, in, in the conference in total offense for a reason. So it'll be a challenge for you. What are some things you can take?